Another pastor has been arrested. Yeah, you know, here we go again. I mean, you guys know I report on these just disgusting individuals. We expose them. Thank God we're getting them off the streets and behind bars where they belong. We're going to talk about Jose Size Jr. in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for somebody like me, well, that's kind of my only option. So, yeah, a New York pastor arrested 28-year-old Jose Saez Jr. He has a small Hispanic church in New York. Uh, Translated to English, it's Lighting the Way Christian Church, and I'll speak more on that in a second. But after a raid was conducted of his home and an online tip was given, the pastor was arrested. What was his crime? Something that we see all too much in this world. However, when it comes in the form of somebody who's claiming to be a pastor or a minister, it's even more disturbing. And that is the crime of none other than child P, if you know what I mean. When police arrested him, they found 15 videos that were on his phone of these acts. Not only did they find the 15 videos, but apparently he had distributed them to 10 other people on top of that. Now, the conversations were apparently saved uh, in a message uh, log on Telegram. Uh, This is how police and investigators were able to find this. Whoever provided the online tip, great, big up to you. That's awesome. Uh, Because based off what the pastor said to the FBI investigators, upon his arrest, this would not have stopped, okay? And I'm going to tell you exactly what he said. I mean, this is this is crazy. We'll, we'll talk about it in a second. Really quick, though, guys, I need your help in a major way. Now more than ever before, would you consider making a generous donation to support me and my ministry as my channel becomes increasingly more censored and more suppressed by the day? You know, YT is never going to let these videos get the proper visibility and audience they deserve. It's just never going to happen, guys, unfortunately, you know. I spent seven years building my platform up here. I got over 12,000 subs, but you would never know it if you take a look at the views on these videos. I mean, I can barely average 50 views a video. The likes are way down. The interaction is down. I mean, I had a video I did the other day. It only has like six likes on it. I mean, how does that happen to a channel that has as many subs as mine? You know they're playing games with me. And there's no ad revenue either, by the way. You know, Unless your videos are consistently averaging in the thousands, you don't get a dime from this. So guys, send YT a message, even though they don't support me, that you will. By the way, any amount that you can contribute, it adds up and it means a lot, no matter how small or how big. Here's how you can help me. One, simply click the super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Very easy to do from the main video page here. Or you guys can become a monthly contributor, become a premium member of Not By Sight News and join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month patreon.com slash not by sight news link in the description when you guys sign up to the platform you're getting a completely uncensored and unfiltered experience all videos go up there however you can comment completely censorship free no worry about yt blocking or taking down what you're saying you'll also get the alerts for all the videos this is major because again yt barely pushes notifications for my content which is another huge reason these videos hardly get any views and you could even send me dms so check it out again it's patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so thank you as well your generosity greatly appreciated here is what jose saez jr told investigators he said i'm sorry but i was unable to stop this is somebody who had a serial problem with this issue if he is saying that he was unable to stop What business did he have being in a pulpit? Did he have any accountability? Did he have an elders board? I'm guessing not. And by the way, the church's Facebook page was now disabled, so you can't go to that. I I wonder who disabled that. I don't know if it was his wife. This, By the way, I mentioned here, this guy's 28 years old. He's married. He has three kids. Three kids. And imagine what they're going to find out, knowing what their dad was doing, or really knowing who their dad actually was. 
because this was not a pastor. This is somebody, if he's telling investigators, I could not stop. I could not stop myself. Okay. He was not a true pastor. He was using his pulpit for evil. Like so many others do that I talk about almost on a daily basis. It seems like these days. So he told the investigators that this guy's going to be going away for a while. Uh, when it comes to, I, I mentioned, you know, the church's Facebook page has been disabled. However, their YouTube channel is still active. It only has four videos on it. Uh, the last one that was uploaded to the channel was all the way back in November of 2022. And it was apparently a, a gender reveal video for the pastors and the pastor and his wife's, you know, new child that I guess was going to be a girl. They said this at the time. Again, that would have been the third child. And then, you know, if you go, uh, his, uh, his, his actual personal Facebook page is still active. It shows him in, in photos with his family and everything seems fine, right? They're smiling. Everything seems nice and wholesome. There's other pictures up there with members of the church. And I wonder what they're thinking now. I mean, in fact, if you are a member or were a member of Lighting the Way Christian Church, and you're just now founding out about this, what's your reaction? I mean, I'd love to hear from you. You can leave a, a comment down below if you would like. As far as the reviews on the church, as I mentioned, the Facebook page has been disabled, but the Google reviews are there. And it only has 10 reviews, but it has a 4.9 out of 5 rating for the church. Little did all those people know who this man really was. And by the way, who knows how long this was actually going on for? We don't truly know. I'm not sure how long he had been a pastor, but again, we often know that these pastors use manipulation as their tactics to lure these individuals in. It's very sad that this continues to be a huge problem in our country, but again, when it's pastors who are committing it, it's even more sick and more disturbing. Will this man repent? I don't know. If he says he couldn't stop, I don't think this was somebody that was a man who was after God's own heart. And I would argue to say he may even be a reprobate. What do you guys think, though? Sound off down below. More info in the description. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I mean, we all need hope, right? And that's salvation through Jesus Christ. So for anybody watching now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. It means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Or just hit the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.